Hi, Glenna. I got your email from the doctor about your knee. Uh, today, before you go back to practice, I think we'll do some rotary support on it. Does that sound good to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. perfect. So just remind me of your sport again. Basketball. Basketball and your position. Point guard. Point guard. Okay, cool. So um, have you been taped before? Yes, I have. You have, so you know you're not allergic to the spray or anything? That's right. Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to get you to put your heel onto this. Excellent. That foot there. I'm going to want you in about a 15 degree knee flexion. You can bring that foot back just a little bit. There you go. Just that we're loading this leg on the quads and hamstrings. Um, before we do the tape, I'm just going to check for decap B to last. So I'm just going to be looking for any deformities, contusions, any abrasions, burns, lacerations, anything like that, penetrations. I don't see any. I'm also going to be looking at sharp. So looking for any swelling, comparing between the knees. Uh, is it okay if I use my hands and help with the tape job today? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to feel for any heat as well. So just comparing the knee. They're about the same temperature, so no worries there. Ultra function, you're moving well. You can play. You just want extra support. I'm not seeing any redness and pain. You haven't really reported any pain, so that's all right. Just more instability. So we look pretty good. We're also going to check our PMS. So I'm looking at the cap refill. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Excellent. Can you feel that? Yes. Okay, perfect. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to spray the leg in all the areas that we're doing. Uh, also, I just want to make sure your hips aren't very square, so I want you to keep your hips nice and square and keeping that leg loaded. Yep, okay. you can put your hand up there for support. Perfect. So now that we've sprayed the leg, we're going to put our first two anchors. So we're going to go to about mid-five. And we're using 3-inch, even though Glenn is a bit small, we're going to use the 3-inch because that's all we have available to us today. So that's our first anchor. Our second anchor, we're going to find the tib tube, and we're going to go just distal to that. And when we're putting this, I just want to make sure, can you come up on your toes? Yep, up, up, contract that quad, excellent. Okay, you can relax. Hips are still square, so that's good. Knee is still loaded, that's good as well. So we are going to want to protect our popliteal fossa here, so we're going to take a heel and lace pad, and we're going to put it right in that fossa. Our next strip, I've already prepared it, so we're making an X with our non-tear as well. We're going to put this in the back of the knee on that fossa. And we're just going to bring those strips up around the patella. Now we can do the actual taping for the knee to help with the rotary support. We're going to start on the lateral portion of our anchor on the uh, below the tibial tuberosity. And then we're going to pull up across that medial joint line. Basically, we'll be forming a diamond. We don't want to cover that patella at all. So across that medial joint line, around back to the front of our thigh, and cutting that. We're then going to do that with the other side. Hips are still square. Everything's still fine. We're going to go the other way, starting on that medial side. Coming up on that lateral joint line behind the leg. Back to that thigh. We're now going to do it from the top. Starting on that medial thigh. Coming down across that joint line. As you can see, we're forming that X as well in there. Back around. Back of the leg. Ending on that front side.
and same thing opposite side starting the lateral coming down on that joint line across the back and back to the front now that's one set and depending on your athlete you can use three to five we're going to do another one and we'll see how our athlete feels because they are a smaller athlete so once again we're going to start from that lower portion just under that tid tube on that anchor up along that medial joint line around the back of the thigh as you can see our patella is nice and open here as well hips have been square this whole time load has been leg has been loaded the whole time as well up on that medial joint line with that rule i'm able to cover that window there And two more, start on that lateral thigh, down across that joint line, back round to the front. And one more, starting on that lateral side. down along that medial joint line back to our front so that's two sets as you can see we do have a nice diamond pattern here with the patel open and since uh, glenna is a basketball player there is going to be contact in the sport we definitely don't want players ripping this up so we're going to close it with some ultralight Same thing, don't really want much tension here. This is more to just cover anything, keeping it down. Following that diamond pattern as well along the patella. And just as we're going to go around the back, up on your toes again, get that calf contracted. Great. And just this one piece here, cover that up as well. Up on that calf. Yep. Make sure everything's nice heat molded. Okay, so now that we've done that tape job, you can relax. I'm just going to check our pulse motion sensation again. So our cat refills the same. Can you wiggle your toes still? Perfect. Can you feel that? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so before we send you out, because if we want to add more support, we can. Just want you to do some basketball movements. So maybe some shuffles, some crossovers, and maybe a couple jumps. Is that okay? Okay, good. Maybe just like some crossovers, like you're cutting. Yep. And a couple jumps. So how does that feel? Does it feel good. supported? Feels yeah. good? All right, Feels perfect. really good. All right, thank you, Glenna.